Hello everyone, this is Trig. How are you? Welcome to Ghost of TV on this beautiful Thursday, July 31st, 2014. I want to talk to you today about perspective and how easy it is to lose perspective. You know, it's almost like when you get on a scale, you're trying to lose weight, but maybe you had a great workout, you're feeling awesome, you get on that scale and you're down two pounds. You're like, yes, triathlon. And then maybe you have, you know, a big meal, you go to in and out you maybe skip a workout, you get back on that scale and you're up a pound and you just lose it. You're just like, I am done. Isn't that how perspective is? It comes and goes so quickly. It's so fickle, right? So I wanted to give you 10 ways that I think we tend to lose perspective. When these 10 things happen, most of the time we get kind of knocked off our course. And then I want to talk to you about the 10 ways that we can gain perspective back. And then I want to give at the end a shout out to a lot of the people that have been really just uh, encouragements to Ghost of TV, to myself, to the Trick Podcast of Joy, and to hopefully build a little bit of a relationship with you out there. So here we go. These are the 10 ways that I think we tend to lose perspective when we do these 10 things. Number one is when we run away from people. Number two, when we run away from the things that motivate us. Number three, when we run away from the things that we love to do. Number four, when we run away from doing the right things. Number five, when we run away from doing the tough things. Hmm. Number six, when we run away from God. Number seven, when we run away from reading or from things that stimulate our minds. Number eight, when we run away from creating, from being creative, from seeking beauty. Number nine, when we run away from our calling, our passion, whatever our assignment is. And number 10, the 10th way that I think uh, we lose perspective is when we run away from what we love. So those are the 10 things. So now I wanna now tell you what are the 10 ways that we can gain perspective. And you'll notice a parallel, a connection here between these two lists. So here are the 10 ways that we can gain perspective back. Number one is run towards people. Number two is run towards the things that motivate us. Number three is run towards the things that we love to do. Number four is run towards the things that are the right things to do. Number five is running towards the tough things to do. Number six is running towards God. Number seven is running towards reading and the things that stimulate our mind. Number eight is running towards creation, towards creating, towards the beautiful things. Number nine is running towards our calling, towards our passion. And then lastly, number 10, the 10th way that I think we can gain perspective back is by running towards the things that we love, especially people that we love. So here's the assignment for you guys. Out of the first list, the ways that we lose perspective, what are the top three ways that you lose perspective? Let us know. And then on the bottom list, the second list, what are the top three ways that you tend to gain perspective? What helps you gain perspective? Let us know at the bottom of this video. So I also wanted to wrap this uh, short uh, Ghost of TV episode as I said, by just uh, acknowledging uh, some of the people that have been really faithful uh, followers, people that interact with a lot of these videos, and as a way to build relationship with you guys. You know, uh, I, I really have a, a real heart for you guys that uh, are encouraged by this message of joy, this message of gozo. And I literally have a list here of like 30 people, so I don't know if I can give uh, everyone here a shout out, but I'm going to try, okay? So first I want to just, and I'm going to just do first names as to not embarrass anybody and to not, you know, have any privacy issues. Of course, your, your name is, you know, all over the, the internet uh, as far as on Facebook, but we'll just keep it with first names. I want to thank Ramona, my dear friend from Arizona, uh, for being such a faithful follower. I want to also thank Baltonado, who's a, a, a friend who I actually haven't really met in person, but I know we have a lot of connections through Nicaragua. I want to thank a lot of my 7th Street um, family, Kathy, Jill, uh, Pauline, Charity, so many of my awesome friends from Celebrate Recovery. I also want to thank uh, some of my Colorado friends that are so faithful, Jay and Blanca 
And uh, then I have a lot of different people that have been just uh, very faithful to connect with this message of joy. Uh, Ad Adrian, Christina, uh, Isabel, who's been amazing, Rita, Sandra, Sandy, who's my, uh, my fitness coach, along with Carlos, Terry, Kasha, uh, Lari, who's a fellow Nicaraguan, Nancy, Allegra, Winston, Tracy, uh, Nancy again, Gary, Sobeida, back from our Colorado days, Gabby, who's a great friend from 7th Street, Becca, who lives in Oregon, but has been a great friend of ours here in Long Beach, Mike, another amazing friend from 7th Street, Glenn, a great friend of mine from years past, Anne, Ruth, uh, Annie from uh, Fuller, Tracy, again, another great uh, connection here local, Amy, a wonderful author and friend of mine, um, Sarah, who's been a great a faithful friend through uh, Gems Uncovered in 7th Street, Gamaliel, my friend of old, Brittany from Colorado, uh, Letty, who's been a wonderful friend again, Emil, Thomas uh, from uh, my Antioch uh, friendship, so many, that's, that's kind of the quick list, I have so many more, and I apologize if I've forgotten some of you, it's only because I have so many. But I just want to, I guess, just uh, the reason I'm doing this is to connect with you guys. Oh, Mark as well. Thank you, Mark, for uh, just your interaction with uh, Facebook and with uh, Gosla TV. Just to all of you, thank you for your comments. Thank you for, you know, liking or saying something uh, positive or, you know, just interacting with this whole, uh, this whole, uh, these episodes and this channel, this way to interact with you. It means a lot, uh, mostly because I know that it's reaching you. And so uh, I also have a few newer friends, uh, Adrian, Stephanie Boyd, who's been around for a long time, a good friend of mine from uh, the past, who's a musician. So, so many of you guys that I'm so thankful for, so grateful for, I want to just encourage you to uh, continue to interact. You know, this message of gozo, of joy is so important, and I hope that uh, you can let me know how I can encourage you, what are ways that we can connect. Uh, what are ways, what are some of the themes that you'd like to bring out? Uh, are there any questions that you have? Are there any ways that you would like to contribute to this program? Do you want to be a guest? Would you like maybe a certain angle, a certain theme, a certain question that you have? And uh, please let me know. Again, thank you guys for being here. Two quick ways that you can interact with uh, with this uh, program is uh, go to my website, davidtrig.com, davidtrig.com. Also go to iTunes and go to the podcast section and type in Trig, Podcast of Joy, and you'll download the, the, all these episodes, the videos, the audio. I have two things, the, the videos, it's called uh, Goso TV, and then the audio, which is different, a little longer, called uh, the Trig Podcast of Joy. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for uh, all your support. I hope that these uh, brief uh, moments and videos and podcasts are giving you a bolt of joy, a rayo de gozo, jamba juice for your soul. <laughs> it can really encourage you. I know you encourage me greatly when I'm going through things, when I'm feeling afraid or anxious or depressed or I'm losing perspective. So I hope that I can do the same thing with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being so awesome. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you next time.